Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. This time it is the uh, stopwatch node. This was added recently and replaces the setup which I showed in the counter that goes to a certain limit. I will uh, link that in the description so you can go back to that old video because this is how we used to do it. But now due to this new node added by the team, we can do it a different way. So let's take a look at the stopwatch node. So I'm going to go up my dev tooltip, sorry, my logics tooltip here, open up the node menu and go to input and then spawn the stopwatch. And you'll see stopwatches here. And so you can see we've got a start impulse, a stop impulse, a reset impulse, uh, on start, on stop, on reset, a time, and it is running. With all of those pulled out, we can now start seeing what it looks like. So here, if I pulse start, you'll see we get a pulse on the start impulse. And then we also get a um, counter that's counting up here and then this also says uh, true that it's running if i were to stop it you choose this one you'll see now that this says false but the time is still retained and that's because i haven't reset it that's the bottom impulse here so now what we can do is we can reset up that uh timer that counts up and then plays the sound by just uh using the stopwatch node and, and not many arcs actually what we're going to have to do here is look for a uh, operator. I'm going to look for greater than or equal. And we'll plug in the elapsed time greater than or equal to, and this will be our target time, so four. For example. And then what we'll do here is we'll use a fire on true. So flow, fire on true. For a fire on true, especially with a sound, I do recommend putting a user in. Uh, the best user for this sort of thing is either host user or local user. In this case, we'll use host user just for speed. And then we'll do uh, audio play one shot. And we'll plug that in. We'll grab an audio clip and put. Now we need an audio file, so let's go find one. Yes, essentials sound effects, uh, UI, where is this? Uh, effects correct. I have forgotten to set up my recording so that you can hear the sound effects, so you'll just have to take my word for it. I'll also pull this one out so you can see it. Now, if I uh, reset the clock, start it again. When it gets to four, we'll get a pulse here that uh, comes out. The other thing we can do on this pulse is we can go around and reset the timer here. And then let's pull a display here so we can see what's going on. So now when this reaches four, it goes around and goes back here and then we'll play again. So now every four seconds, you'll get an alert coming out. And you can see that with this pulse happening, which is the on reset pulse. If you wanted that to happen once, you could also put this impulse here into the on uh, into the stop, and now it will stop after one um, after one time that the sound is played. That's the uh, stopwatch note for you. Um, it's super useful. Um, Lewis was the one who originally requested it, and they've already started using it for a bunch of contraptions. So I hope it's helpful for you too. Let me know if you've got any questions on the uh, stopwatch note. I will see you next time.